We are live. It is five minutes later than half an hour later that I usually go on live. Uh, if you don't already know me, my name is Heather Boyd and we do Wired Lady TV every Wednesday at 1 p.m. ish Eastern Time. So if you're hopping on, say hello and I don't know how long I'm going to last today. It's super hot here but I'm going to do what I can and I've got the fan blowing if you're wondering why my hair is doing this. It's funny because I was on a, um, a panel yesterday online. Hey Peggy! And on the panel uh, I had the fan going and my hair was like doing this so it was really hilarious. That's for Social Media North if anybody's interested in social media. Hey Paula! Uh, yeah, so we were supposed to go to uh, Stratford, Ontario for this live conference of course it's all cancelled because of uh, the COVID so we did the panel online so uh, Amber's on hey Amber hey Laura hey. <laughs> and uh, Daphne cool awesome perfect so let me pull up the video on the computer so I can see what's going on hey Jonathan how are you and uh, Sandy wow everybody's hopping on tell me in the comments if you have air conditioning because we don't and I'm slowly toasting here but it's all good I've got the fan going okay there's the live stream let's see who's hopping on everybody's saying hi to each other that's awesome I'm so glad you guys are getting to be friends it's really awesome hey hey Charlotte how you doing and Jenny and Amanda sweet guys so today I'm gonna to do some more names I've been planning to do some more names for a while and you don't yeah yeah you, you feel my pain air conditioning have to in Florida yes I can imagine that my daughter was just saying that Mimi was saying that the other day anyone in Florida must have air conditioning we don't have central but you have a portable one yeah Mimi has one in her room um, I tend to tough it out a little bit more so uh, but we're having a super big heat wave in Montreal and they're actually a little bit worried because it's you know with everything that's going on and stuff so I think we're just gonna stay put for sure for sure so guys a few things before I get started I just want hey Linda how are you doing welcome and it I'm cold right now 56 degrees oh my god it is, don't tell me you're cold anyways it's gonna cool down on Saturday but I wanted to make a little announcement about the earring um, challenge I've decided I'm gonna actually do the videos pre-taped because my live YouTube is a little bit glitchy and I don't want to take a chance that it's not going to work so what I'm gonna do is starting Monday I'm gonna post the videos for the 10-day uh, earring challenge if you're on Facebook and you want to join the group um, you can model here <laughs> that's funny so if you want to join the the, um, the Facebook event page uh, it's called the 10-day wire earring making challenge you can find it or you can find it in the wire um, art jewelry makers club and what I'm gonna do is I'll post daily videos and I'll post them earlier so people can get a head start with them as well so I'll, I'll schedule them for 8 a.m. Eastern time and then you can um, do them and then what I thought would be fun hey Yvonne how are you what I thought would be fun is maybe I'll hop on live in the event page uh, either every day or every other day to check in to see how you guys are doing and what I thought we could do with that if we do it on Facebook you can actually as a comment post pictures of what you're working on whereas the YouTube live it's not super interactive I mean I could talk to you guys but you can't show me your work so this is like sort of another idea I had so let's do it that way video starting on Monday and be sure to join the challenge and there's prizes and all kinds of stuff so I hope everybody has enough wire I really hope everyone has wire because uh, I know some people are running out but uh, just do what you can and um, maybe I'll try to give a couple of options for the designs as well but I pretty well have fixed in my mind what kind of designs we're gonna do so that's super cool so yes love my next list thank you this actually used to be a pair of earrings this was my logo uh, 20 years well 30 years ago when I started making wire jewelry so I used to go um, I used to be called the earring lady and I actually made t-shirts with the um, with the uh, with the logo on it and what I did was I the t-shirt had a giant picture of the woman with the earrings and then the little I actually put real earrings hanging off her ears but it kind of looked like the earrings were hanging off my boobs depending on how big you were and how big the t-shirt was but it was fun it was a fun 
concept. I like quirky stuff like that. So it's all good. So that's sort of my logo. I don't use it so much anymore, but I might go back to using that as my logo. I really, I really like it. So it's super fun. Yeah, Peggy knows I'm obsessed with bodily functions and, and body parts because she, she reads my comics on Instagram. <laughs> so it's a whole other side of me that some of you might not know, but it's all good. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to start with um, Peggy's daughter's name, Lillianne, and I am going to attempt to do a donut. So I know you told me donuts or butterflies, so I might try to do both. And so I'll flip my screen. I just dropped something on the ground. I'll flip the screen, and we're going to see what we can do with Lillianne. So... Let me turn this around, Lillian, yes, 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 yes. So let's flip the screen around, perfect, there we go. It's a little dark today because, oh, I might even have to turn on a light because, let me just see, the trouble is it's really, really hot and I'm kind of worried about uh, getting overheating here. So tell me if it's too dark let me open the window just for a short time oh it's a okay Lillianne's here awesome oh and your username is beautiful I love that username that's so beautiful awesome welcome welcome I'm just gonna open the window a bit and see if it, we have a little more light because and you guys tell me which is better is it better like that a little yeah better a little bit of light eh Okay, I'm gonna sweat for you guys, if that's okay, if it's all good. So we got a little bit of light, we got our tools, and I have the names here. So I already had written Lillianne, she's been on my paper for ages and ages, so now I have to do it. Okay, so a friend gave you that name, that's so cool, I love it. That's so beautiful, and I love the color blue. It's one of my favorite colors, I love turquoise blue. So let's try to, first what I wanted to do was to try to make a donut. So let me see what I can do. So what my first idea for the donut was I got a bunch of these little beads. I'm going to also try it in wire, but I thought, wouldn't it be fun to try to make a little bead donut? You love donuts. Yeah, I love donuts. And uh, yeah, they're like one of my favorite. We have Tim Hortons here. Let me know if you have them where you, where you live, because I know in a lot of the states, they don't have Tim Hortons, so maybe they have um, maybe they have a Dunkin' Donuts or something like that. I'm not quite sure what they have there. These were the only little beads I could find that might go with them. These look kind of like sprinkles on donuts, so I thought I'm going to try something like that. And I just I forgot I have to get my 24 gauge wire because you need some wrapping wire. So I'm going to get some. This is how I store my wires, if you guys are wondering how professional I am, in zippy, zippy bags, so freezer bags. So there we go. Yes, Dunkin' Donuts. Yoo-hoo, I love, love donuts. So let me get some 24-gauge wire. So Lillianne, you inspired this idea because I wasn't sure. Actually, I literally five minutes before the live stream, I wasn't sure what I was going to do today. And then I picked up my list of names and I saw your name and I'm like, yes, I am going to do Lillianne's name today with a donut. And so let's see what we can do. Laura's on. Awesome. Me too. Wire, uh, wire bags. Yeah, that's the way to store them, eh? So here's some small uh, 24 gauge wire. This is the wire I like to use for wrapping. Uh, we have Chuck's Top Pot Dunkin, okay, uh, wait, where are we going? Oh, Dun Dunkin Donuts, yeah. Uh, Western Co. I don't know any of those. Yeah, we use, we also have Country Style, which is, uh, which is interesting too. So this was my idea, was to take one of these and wrap them with wire to make a donut but I'm not quite sure this one's a little crooked which one I should use so maybe Lillian can choose which bead she wants me to put beads on for the donut we have little really really small or we have like bigger darker we have medium ones so do you want one two three four or five so Lillian you tell me which one you want oh crispy cream those are a little too decadent Ashley you're the artist. Okay, do you want me to choose? Number two. So this one here, the white one. Okay, so we can do that one. Yeah. 
booty would expand. Okay, I'm totally missing some stuff, guys. So as always, oh, voodoo. I wish voodoo. Okay, that's a donut company? That's interesting. Okay, so there we go. I have had voodoo donuts three times in Oregon. I've never heard of voodoo. That's really interesting. All these, I should, I should uh, search donut brands in the States. I'm sure there's a lot of them. So uh, Lillian, I'm not 100% sure this is going to work, but we're going to try it. But the idea I had was to actually string beads around like that. But now I'm wondering, there's two ways I could do it. Let me see how well it sticks. And if it doesn't stick, I'm going to do a circle and then I'm going to uh, wind them around. So first I'm going to try this way where you do, and actually probably you probably need more than just a couple of beads. So let me try to put a couple at once. I might just put them on randomly. And then I might also try it just out of wire. So if we just, we have to get it started. So we're going to wind this around. These are, these were in my box of uh how do you say wooden beads but they're not wood I think there's some kind of shell or something so I'm even thinking I probably could have gone with a um, a thinner wire like even 26 or 28 gauge wire because I have a feeling this wire I might uh, run out of space with it but I'm gonna see what I can do so the idea and if you're wondering where I got these beads I actually got them at the dollar store in the craft section. So you might be able to find something like this in the dollar store. They're, um, they just came in a little package. Like uh, Actually, you know, it might have even been in the kids section. I don't remember. But, uh, but I thought they were super fun. So we're going to just try to go around and wind these. Asha says, hi, Heather. I received my angel. Yay. Oh, I'm so happy. Aisha, that was such a beautiful, beautiful design. That was a really, really great idea that you had to do the angel with the baby underneath. I really was super happy with how that turned out. Yeah, very, very beautiful. Thank you so much for inspiring that design. So their line is an hour long, but uh, it's so worth it. That's so funny. Yeah, I have to go back to the States. I mean, it's not going to be happening too soon, but I definitely want to go back to the States at some point. We were supposed to go to New York City in May. And of course, that didn't work out. So maybe next year, we'll see. Yeah, so I'm going to just try to put a few uh, beads around here. You can put as many as you want. The idea is to make, you know, the other thing, oh, the other thing that would have been great. Do you guys know those little uh, tiny, I forget what they're called, but they're little tiny beads that you use for scrapbooking and embellishing and you actually glue them down you could totally do that for the donut you could take a bunch of those and just glue them on or actual sprinkles you could get something and put actual sprinkles on it that would be super cute too so there's all kinds of possibilities that you can do for that the states are waiting for you yes i definitely do want to go back to the states at some point so whenever whenever they ever they give the uh, the green light i would go and definitely want to go to new york some new york in the summer isn't great anyways because it's it's way too hot but uh but we were supposed to go in may and um we'll probably just wait till next year i think it's going to be easier so yeah i'm kind of like getting a little tight for like pushing these these beads through. So what I might end up doing is just this one went to the back. So this is this is going to be really tricky. And you know, as always, you guys are nice and patient with me because we're going to see how it actually works. And I'm going to leave that I'm going to leave that bead that wire a little long so I can wrap it. I think I'm just going to do a few uh, a few of these because otherwise I'm really going to run out of space. So let's just do a few of these. And then we'll go from there. So we're going to do this one and maybe another yellow one. But I do like that idea of gluing them on the bead as well. It says, I'm going to go do my schoolwork. Awesome. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for hopping on. That's fantastic. Very fun. Yeah, the kids are doing uh, all their schoolwork online. It's, uh, it's Things are changed for sure. So here we go. So here's here's what I have so far. So that's one possibility for a donut. So we've got that type of thing that's sort of interesting. I think it would be really cool if you just got tiny little pieces and um, and stuck them on. But I'm going to I'm going to put that one at the side and we're going to see which one we we like the best. Actually, I'll I'll do the name now. 
I'll do Lillianne's name now, and then we'll go, we'll decide what we want to do with that. She can watch the replay. Excellent. That's fantastic. Yeah, replays are, are better because you could zip through them to get to the good parts. So, so let's do her name. I'm just going to cut this and make sure that I have this filling. Yep, so there we go. So let me know in the comments what you guys are up to today. Are you making wire stuff? Are you chilling? Are you house cleaning? Are you working? I did a little clean up in my, in my bathroom this morning and just uh, setting up fans and stuff. And I'm going to get to work after this doing working on some Etsy stuff. I actually have quite a few uh, projects to work on for Etsy. And I was actually on Pinterest yesterday and I realized that a lot of people have been sharing my pins on Pinterest so I realized I have to get back to Pinterest and really work on that because uh, most of my traffic to my Etsy shop comes from Pinterest so it's really good to keep up with that that's cute so far the donut thank you Delica beads are small enough okay interesting yeah the ones that I I meant from the um the the uh what do you call it the scrapbook store they're I forget what they're called. They're just, they're not even beads. Like they don't have holes. They, they almost look like sprinkles that you would put on uh, cupcakes or something. So uh, I used to have some. I'm not quite sure I still do. But what I might do is after the live stream experiment and uh, try to do something with that and actually glue them on. It's just the glue does take a little bit of time to... Uh, to dry so oh, sorry I'm not explaining what I'm doing so there's the L the I with the little dot and the L and then we want to do the Y so we're going to go up here hey Lisa how are you you're you're late that's okay I'm late too I was really late so there we go we're both late so we're going to do the Y so that we're going to go up for the Y here and then bring this one down and then I guess to go to the a, do we need a space before the A, or does it go right, can I go right to the A? Um, Peggy, you can tell me about that. So you found me on Pinterest and followed you. Yes, I think I followed you back, Peggy. Yeah, I, I hadn't been using Pinterest for a while, and so I, um, I started for some reason. I think it's because I was on that panel yesterday at Social Media North, and they kind of wanted to know our numbers and stuff like that. And I don't usually pay attention to numbers, but uh, they got me curious. So I went on and realized that just recently a lot of people are being active on my Pinterest. So so let's see. No, it's a capital like Lillian. Perfect. Okay, so, so there's Lily. There we go. I'm using the brass wire for this one. It's quite, um, it's quite stiff but it's good because it holds its shape. So we're gonna go up for the A, and then how I like to do the A is I just give it a little bend, you make sure it's more or less the same height. And I, some people go like across and back, but what I like to do is an actual triangle. So I just go across here, okay? And then I go over like or under what I did previously. And I just find it makes a nice, kind of shape. Lowercase is fine. Oh, too late. I already did the uppercase. So there we go. So that's going to be the A. And then we're going to go, I'm painting today. Fantastic. I love painting. I usually do my painting later at night, although it probably would be better to do it in the daylight. Okay. So there's the A and we're going to bring this up. And then now we do the N. So for the N, as always, do we do those little loop-de-loops on there. So we're going to give this a little, just a little round loop. And then I always like hold it here and pull it so the loop is very small. It's just a suggestion, just a little suggestion of a, you know, gives it a little bit of separation there. So there's the N. And then we're going to do the other end. So we'll bring this around. Okay. Bring that around here. And then we're going to do the other one. Now the trick, of course, is to get this in the same position that it was in before as, a, as the one previous. So that's always a little bit tricky to get them the same size. And then we're going to pull that. And then we're going to form the end. So we're going to come around here and form the end like that looking good and then we're going to bring it across here so now the question is the donuts so we have this one and then for the for the l like to know where to if you want to hang it in a pendant what you could end up doing is you can hang it in the loop in the l so for this i would just 
bend this back, okay, bend it back here, and then just clip that. And that way it's just gonna be flush in, uh, in here and it won't, it won't stick out. And you can still uh, put the jump ring in the top of the L. So we're gonna do that, push that down, make sure it's adjusted properly, make sure it's not sharp. And we're gonna go here. It would be cute to put a bead on the top of the eye. That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, really good idea. I like the end that way. Yeah, I like that. I kind of developed that end. Uh, I I've tried it like I used to do it like that, and then I stopped, and then I went back to it. So uh, because I tried to do like a little back and forth thing, and it didn't work. So I find this works well, and it's nice and stylized. So now for the donut, we have a couple of possibilities. Like I could put the donut on here, uh, or I can try a wire donut, and if the wire donut doesn't work, I can actually put that on top of the wire donut. So let's get um, this pen thing, Sharpie thing. So if we bring this around, okay, we're gonna bring this around here, because I have a feeling the wire might be really cute too. So we're gonna go around here. How big do we want it? We want it to be like about the same height as that so we can hang a jump ring in it. So let me just think. Uh, so if we do this here, and then I want to do an inner circle, right? So what if we, let me make this a decent size. Okay, we're gonna go around here. I like the idea of it being wire because um, it just looks, you know, it fits well with the piece. But the other one is cute too. I think I just want to work on this design a little more to add more. It looks more like a star than a donut. So I think I have to add more to that, but I'll definitely work on that idea. And maybe, you know what, this would be, could be cute. I'll develop this idea and make a ring, a donut ring. That would be super cute. So um, I'll work on that. So now if we want to do an inner circle for the donut, it's cute though. Yeah, it is very cute. So we're going to, we're gonna see, cause I could, I can always do two, so you never know. So let's bring this one, and then we're gonna put that. We want to just have a little space, cause we want to make the inner hole. And where are my black pliers? Here they are behind my computer. Perfect. These are one of my favorite pliers. I bought these in Toronto at a surplus store, probably. 25 years ago or more. So now we want to do the inner donut hole. So we're going to come around here okay, and we want to make sure it's somewhat centered. So if we bring that one around here and what I think we can do actually is rather than having too much wire going around, it's kind of cute. It looks like a tire. That's okay. We're going to figure this out and we're going, yours are about that size. The the black ones, yeah, I love those ones, yeah. But I need both because they're not, they don't have a po pointy end. So now I just clip that and put this one down to that level. So this actually looks a bit like a donut too. So let me just think what I wanna do. I guess there's all kinds of things you could do with this. Like it might be fun to put some resin on it you could do that, or let's just see how it looks. If we put it down here just to see, and if we put some beads inside, I really wish I had some smaller beads, but say we put this around, or here, maybe if we just put like some rainbow beads or something, I'm gonna see how it looks. We're gonna put that one in there, and yellow, no, that's not right. Okay, I don't even know my, whoa, rainbow colors. Okay, hang on. So we're gonna bring this around here. Let's start with red, and then the green, or uh, this, and then the green. It's kind of cute. Okay, so blue, blue, whoopsies, I went in the middle. Okay, blue, and I might need a wire to help me with this, and then purple, okay purple and then maybe we'll ask Lillianne which one she likes best. So we've got purple and um, ba -da -ba -da, back to red or pink. You know what? I don't like those two pinks together. So I think I'm going to, okay. I need tweezers. Yes. Or nail polish would work. Yeah, definitely. The, the I've done some things with nail polish. So that would definitely look, that would work good too. 
I kind of like this idea too. So if I'm gonna, what one should I do there? Maybe I'll do yellow just because it's on the opposite end of this, of the donut, and then maybe another green one. I think we're only gonna fit that many. So, so guys, here we go. It's kind of fun. So here's the donut like that, or we have the donut like this that we can maybe add more wire to. So let me just see like that. The trouble is, see, we've kind of lost track of the hole in that one. I'm gonna try a third one. Yes, like that. You Do you like it like that with the wire? I, th I think I do like it like that, eh? Like this one has potential, but I think I'm going to maybe not use it for this. I'm gonna just try one more thing and then we'll see uh, we'll see how it works because the other idea I had was just to like do a loop with the with the beads so I'll try that too because I like to try everything you like that one Peggy I think it's cute I think it's different yeah so let's just bend this the color order is perfect okay fantastic so let's just do some of these so we're gonna start I'll just try to make another idea and if it doesn't work I'll go with that wire one I just I'm gonna have to get some wires maybe some thinner wire to attach it I have some um, 28 gauge wire which would be perfect because it's very very thin so let's get our colors on here yes the wire okay cool awesome okay that's I like I like the feedback because otherwise sometimes it's hard to be objective but uh, I think I like it too so I'm just going to do one that's just wire and we'll compare it. I think I'm gonna have to add more beads to it too because it's gonna be a little bit small if I just, like if I, I could try it like this. Oh, I lost my pink bead because this, uh, the hole is too big so it, go, it went over that part. So let's just do that. I'm gonna bend that one a bit. And then if we turn this around, I think it's gonna be a little too small, but I mean, that would be a, that would be a super tiny donut like that, like maybe too small, eh? I think that would be too small. So let's just add those other beads that we had. So we'll do another yellow and another green, and then we'll see how it looks. So we'll do another yellow and another green. There we go, yes, it's beautiful, thank you. Yeah, too small, eh? Yeah, so let's just bring this around here and it might still be too small. So we're gonna see and bring this one back. This one's, the hole is really big in that pink one. So it's hard to, uh, hard to get it to sit. So there's this. And even this is maybe a little bit too small too. But the other idea I could do, wait, I'm gonna just do something different. I'm just gonna try something different here. So I'm going to actually do this too small one and do another row and see if it, see if it makes any sense at all. So let's just bring this back. This is really finicky. So we're gonna bring it around. This is this is a lot like the bead, the daisy bead uh, ring. It's very similar in design and style to the daisy bead. So if we do this, it makes like a nice small circle. Second row, yes, yes. I think I'm gonna try the second row and see if that uh, makes it a little fuller. So, so there we go. So we have the first, row like this and then let's do another row and maybe we're just gonna have to alternate the beads as well so why don't we just do let's start with the opposite color we'll start with the green as usual my hands are shaking a bit because I I was run out of time to eat so I'll go have my lunch after this I had my veggies I usually have salad but I had uh, carrot sticks and cucumber and apples and then after this I'm gonna have a grilled cheese because I'm craving it yes I love grilled cheese anything cheese I tried to go vegan once and I did not succeed at that at all I actually got really sick and had to go to the hospital so uh so I, d I don't uh, do that anymore Lillian likes the rainbow sprinkles donut so it's perfect awesome that's amazing Cool, so let's just keep going and see what the second row looks like. It might or might not work, but um, I'll just, I'll finish up that one after because I, I really like the way it worked. Love cucumber, yeah, ooh, green pepper. Oh, I can't eat raw green pepper. That gives me a tummy ache, but I love raw red pepper. I love raw red pepper, it's delicious. And um, 
I need anything like cauliflower raw. I'll have um, asparagus. We have asparagus in the garden. I'll eat that raw. Hey, Neil, how are you? You're late. That's okay. I was a little late too, so a better late than never, right? We're just working on Lillianne's name for Peggy's daughter and doing a donut. Yeah, it got sick. Yeah, that was from be, be, trying to become vegan, but uh, but it's all good now. That was a few years ago. So, do, 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 blue and purple. Okay, so let's see how many beads we need. I love cheese. Oh, you're eating cheesecake? Oh, boy. I'm not a huge cheesecake fan, although I do have a, a really big sweet tooth, but I tend to like... Um, I don't know, like more, you know what I like is like coconut cream pie and banana cream pie. I love those. And um, I find cheesecake a little bit heavy. I like apple pie. Uh, I like chocolate, but not so much chocolate cake, just real chocolate type of thing. Boy, we're going to get hungry talking about this. So there's, um, now some of these beads, they're plastic. So some of them have like little, little tails and stuff on them. So it's good to... Uh, just choose some that are nicer. So let's do a couple more and then we'll see how this one looks. Perfect. Okay, so now let's see if it goes all the way around. This one kind of looks like that Mandela, that Mandela, um, oh, I can't put another green one. Okay, maybe I'll just put a, another another pink one. Uh, it looks like that Mandela pendant that I do did except with a with a hole in the middle. So let's see if this is going to work. Tomatoes. Ooh, yeah, I like tomatoes. We make salad with cucumber, red, and green avocado. Yum. Green onion. Mm, can't eat green onion. Uh, olives, cheese. That sounds good, though. Without the onion, that sounds amazing. So we're going to just bring this around. Okay, so this, not really looking so much like a donut because I think you need the wire base for it. So let's scrap that idea. Okay, so we're going to scrap that one and scrap that one for now. And let's just finish up this one. So what I want to do is get some wire. Um, but um, but um, I think I'm going to go ahead and get the thin wire because I don't want it to run out of space. So I just need my... Uh, 28 gauge wire. Actually, I have a ton of 28 gauge wire because I used to do a lot of crocheted wire. And uh, uh, my friend that has the gallery in, in Point Claire, she uh, commissioned me to make all kinds of like crocheted wire uh, mixed media cards and stuff. So I use this for that. Would make a cute lollipop. That's true. It would make a cute lollipop. Yeah, some of you guys were making lollipops in the, um, in the group. Uh, I forget which ones they were, but uh, you guys all did some really cool stuff. Uh, Lily is too picky for that. <laughs> LOL, Lily is too picky for that. Uh, I think I missed that. So make a cute lollipop all beaded double row donut. Yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these in place. Um, think of the best way to do it. You know, I'm going to start just by stringing them. And then we'll go from there. We'll figure out what we want to do next. So if I do this, uh, and then this, and then, you know, maybe I'll just, I'm just going to bend the end so I don't lose my beads. So we're going to do that. And then blue. No, that's not right, is it? Uh, yeah, I guess it is. Blue. No, purple I think I did next. So there we go. I've lost track. Purple. Yeah, this is really finicky to get these beads. Okay, blue, green. I like this green, lime green. Lovely, so green and yellow. And we should still be able to get a jump ring in there to hang up the pendant. Oh, you're jumping all over the place. There we go. And pink. So let's start with having them all strung together. And then we have to figure out a way that we're going to attach them. So what I want to do is I'm just going to attach the wire on here. Let me move these out of the way. Okay. I wish I'd used beads on my lollipop. Oh, no. You, you did the spiral one, eh, Amber? I thought that was super cute. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, uh, it's fun both ways. Sometimes it's fun to do things all with wire, too. So let's just attach this one here. Okay, I'm going to attach it on the other side too, just to make sure it stays in place. So maybe I will go ahead, uh, maybe I won't cut it yet. So then I'm going to bring this around. Okay, 
My Jeep is that color green. Wow, that's awesome. How cool is that? We have a white car. We have a Yaris. We had a Matrix before, but um, I found it way too big because I'm really little. I'm like five foot two, so the, the Yaris is just my size. Peggy says she won't even eat pasta when the sauce touches it. Yeah, I know a lot of people that are like that, but uh, my, my daughter will eat pasta in any way, shape, and form. Yeah, we love pasta here. So there we go. We're going to bring this around, okay, around here. Oh, I'm going off the screen. That's my pet peeve is one of my hands leave the screen. So let's bring this around, and it looks like I think we're missing another bead. So let me just put another bead on there, uh, maybe another blue one. I, I, might, I don't know if I had another blue one and it went flying or what. So let's get another blue bead. And we'll stick a bead in there. Sometimes when you actually string them in place, you realize you need more beads than you thought. So let me just open this up, put another bead. Okay, so uh, same with your daughter. <laughs> it's funny, eh? People are funny. I, I, sometimes I like my things separate like that too, But because sometimes it's actually nice to taste the pasta, you know. Usually what I'll do is I'll grab a couple of pieces of pasta first and, and eat it just so I could taste it. And then I'll... Um, and then I'll pour the sauce on it. So everybody has their quirks, right? So now let's just go ahead and clip this one piece off because we don't need that anymore. I mix everything together. <laughs> That's funny. My daughter and I have a running joke about my sister because she ran a daycare for like 15 years and she was always pressed for time. So her idea of a gourmet dinner was just like cooking pasta and throwing a can of sauce on top. So we still have that running joke that that's what she used to do. I always like to, to even when I buy a commercial sauce, is to I like to fry some garlic first, saute some garlic, and then put the put the sauce, uh, you know, on the garlic and, and stuff too, just to give it some more taste. Cause I find the sauce straight out of the can is pretty, it's pretty uh, bland. Kind of tastes like can sometimes too, or bottle. I don't buy it. I don't buy it in the, um, in the can. I do it in the bottle. Me too spaghetti with mashed potatoes. Ooh, how interesting. Wow. No way that I do that with my pasta too. I eat some plain strands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Amber. I wore two peas in a pod, I think. Oh my goodness. So here we go. So here's the donut so far. Now, uh, what we want to do is, I think I would have to attach it at the top too, because um, I want it, I don't want it to come out, right? So the question is like, do I sew it all around or do I leave it like that? So let's just have a look and see how it's going to look. We'll bring this here. And a wheat, oh, ravioli is good too. And tortellini. Yeah, I love tortellini. Uh, oh, thin yogurt. Oh, yeah, okay. It's like, um, what do they call that? Uh, kefir, right? It's, is that that thin yogurt stuff? Okay, so let's go around here. I'm not a big yogurt fan. I used to be, but not so much anymore. I don't eat so much dairy anymore, except cheese. So, yeah, so we could just... You choose, you know, if you want to wind it around all of the beads to keep it more consistent, or if you'd rather just wind it around at the at the top to um, just to secure it in place. But you definitely need to do it like a little loop at the top, I think. Otherwise, they're going to come right down. So I don't mind this, it being wrapped all the way around. I think it's kind of cute. So let's go ahead and just finish wrapping that. My hands are sweating right now, so <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. So we're going to bring this one down here all around. And I think for today, we're just going to do the one project because uh, I want to put all my energy into this one for Lillianne. And, um, and then what's coming up next? Uh, Saturday, I'm doing posting a video in, inspired by um, uh, Susan that had uh, done a little black cat based on my bunny uh, video. And so I did a little design somewhat similar to hers with some changes and then also a standing cuts uh, cat. So that's kind of cute. So this is fun, this stays in place. And here they call it Laban, that's so cool. Arabic, very nice, wow. Whoa, beads everywhere, there we go. So there is Lily Ann with the little donut. Now you can push these, if you don't like the way the wires look, you can push them in between a little bit. 
I think it's kind of cool. I think it's it's cute. It's stylized. So there's Lillianne with that. There's our donut with the bead in progress. And then there's the other donut that looks somewhat like a uh, lollipop. So actually, if it was to be a lollipop, we can just do something here. We can just take this and then maybe even bring this one up here and then bring this one down. And then you might want like another bead in the middle. So we'll stick another, which one? Maybe a uh, orange bead in the middle. I'm not sure what bead, purple, green, they're all there. So it's hard to decide which one. So if we put one there in the middle, then it would be like filled in a little bit and we can just like bend that down. Okay. And then we, without knowing in advance, we are gonna make a lollipop. We can make a lollipop. Oh, thanks guys. I cannot love this anymore, yay! Yeah, I love everything about it because it's made for Lillianne. So that's sweet, I'm so happy that she hopped on the tutorial as well. That's great. So here's here's a lollipop, guys. I didn't mean to make that, but there we go. So there's a lollipop. There's our donut in progress and there's the name. Cool, yeah, the lollipop's not bad, eh? I just had to fill it in with one more bead and it was it was all good and it's pretty solid. So So that's fun. Maybe I'll do something with that too, so we're going to figure it out. So I'm going to flip my screen around. Let me flip it around. Whoop, there's my hand. If anybody reads palms, you could read my hand. Actually, my husband reads palms. He used to, we used to go downtown to the mountain, uh, it's the Mont Royal, and we would sell jewelry and stuff, and my husband would read people's palms, and he's really good. He's a little skeptical. He's not sure how much he believes himself, but everybody was really, really happy with uh, when he reads their palms, so so that's that's cool. Another, another hidden talent uh, in the family, I guess, so. But guys, yeah, stay cool if it's hot where you are. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna make a little cover photo for Lillianne and put it on the on the um, on the video as a thumbnail. Um, I'm having a little trouble with my live stream, so there's a little bit of a delay. Yeah, Mark's very talented. He's got a lot of hidden talents. He's just walking in the house. So, um, but yeah, so uh, planning. Uh, there's going to be a video on Saturday. And then next week is the challenge, so I won't be doing a live stream on, um, oh my gosh, somebody's car is squeaking, just drove by, very strange. So yeah, no live stream next week because I'm going to be doing the challenge and I want the, all the videos to be one after another. So challenge starts Monday. I'll put the video up at, uh, yeah, you could hear it, eh? I'll put the videos up at 8 a.m. Eastern time. That way you have a chance to, um, to work on them during the day because um, I wanted to do, do lives every day at one and I realized it's too late in the day. And so what I'm going to do is I'll hop on to the Facebook, either in the Facebook event page or on my Heather Boyd Wire uh, business page and do a little live stream either every day or every other day so you guys can share pics live to show me what you're working on as well. So I thought that would be a fun a uh, little alternative to uh, to doing the actual tutorial live. So that's it. And then there'll also be a, I'm putting a hold on the um, prompts. Uh, eight, eight, a set is 7 a.m. your time. So 8 a.m. Eastern is 7 a.m. your time. So anyways, I didn't quite catch that. But um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the daily prompts, I'll put a hold on them for a week because I don't want to like overwhelm you guys with too much stuff. Uh, Wendy's already sent me some ideas for more prompts, so those will start back after the after the um, after the challenge is finished. So big week next week. Hope everybody has some wire and uh, yeah, as always, we'll see you in, on the Facebook page. Thanks for always sharing your stuff. And if you're not on Facebook, you can always email me pictures to info at Heather Boyd Wire. 7 a.m. there is 4 a.m. Yes, that's right. That's right. 7 a.m. Central. Aha. Gotcha. Yes. Yes. Gotcha. 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 Cool. So, so yeah, have a great, great rest of the week. And, oh, what is the challenge? So, the challenge is uh, we've done two already. We did the 10-day ring making challenge. We did the 10-day pendant making challenge. So basically what it is for the earring making challenge is I'll put up a video every day and you can create the earrings that are in the, in the video, in the tutorial, and you can share pictures on Facebook 
uh, in the event page. So the event page is called the 10 day earring making challenge. And if you're not on um, Facebook, uh, you could always email me pictures. Uh, if you want to still participate, we could figure that out. You can email me some pictures. And basically at the end of the week, everybody emails me their pictures of their 10 pairs of earrings. And whoever's done all 10 is uh, going to go into a draw to win a few prizes. So that's that. So guys, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go have my lunch. I wish you all a wonderful day and we'll definitely see you uh, very soon and see you in the Facebook group. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.